Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. Welcome to Bedtime Story with Miss Anna. The first book we are reading is called Norman Didn't Do It. Yes, he did. This is by Ryan T. Higgins. So let's get started. Norman Didn't Do It. Yes, he did. Norman was a porcupine. Norman's best friend was Mildred. Mildred was a tree. Norman and Mildred did everything together. Strike one. Bounced. Chip, chip. You are right, Mildred. If it is a little yellow belly, suck poor. I love playing tree together. Yay, you win! Norman was happy with the way things were. Okay, one more chapter, then it lights out, Mildred. Norman and Mildred. Mildred and Norman. Just the two of them. Until one day, pop, there was someone else. And who is that? It was another tree. Suddenly, it was no longer just Norman and Mildred. Now it was Norman and Mildred and the other tree. This did not sit well with Norman. Norman began to worry. What if the other tree wanted to be friends with Mildred? What if Mildred liked the other tree? What if Mildred liked the other tree more than she liked Norman? <gasps> oh my goodness. Norman kept a careful eye on the other tree. Whoosh! He watched as Mildred and the other tree grew closer. Bounce, bounce. And closer. Chip, chip. And closer. You are playing tree without me? Sight. Life wasn't the same. Fine, you win. Then it happened. The worst thing possible. Touch. Mildred and the other tree grew too close together. It was the last straw. This is the last straw. Even though, in this case, there were no straws, just branches. Norman could not lose his best friend. Not to the other tree. Something had to be done. Norman planned plan and planned until his plan was just right. Then, under the cover of night, Norman dug up the other tree and took it far away. Very, very far away. Very, very far away. To a place where the other tree will never come between Norman and Mildred ever again. And just like that, the other tree was gone. Norman and Mildred were back together, just the two of them. But it wasn't the same. Other tree? What other tree? Oh, ah, that other tree? I don't know what happened to the other tree. I didn't do anything. Maybe it went on vacation. Maybe it moved. How should I know? There, there, Mildred. You still have me. Soon, Norman started to think about Mildred without her new friend. Norman started to think about the other tree all alone out there. Norman started to think about himself and what he did. What if someone has seen him? Let's think. There was the moon, there were the stars, there was the grass and the trees. Oh no, the trees! What if they saw me? What if one tree tells another tree who tells another tree who tells another tree who tells Mildred? What am I going to do? What had I done? What if digging up your friend's friends in the middle of the night and taking that friend very, very far away was not the right thing to do? What if it was the wrong thing to do? Stop staring at me, Mildred. Norman had hit rock bottom. 
I have hit rock bottom. Something have to be done. Norman plan and plan again. Then he went back to where he had left the other tree. To try and undo what he had done. Yes, you're right. I went a little overboard. But in my defense, you were touching branches. Norman knew life was going to be different. Look who's back, Mildred. And that was okay. He might even like it. Norman and Mildred and the other tree. Just the three of them. And who is that? <laughs> the end. That was a really nice story, right guys? Norman didn't do it. I have another book for you. And these are great, great summer reading books for you guys. Remember, even though you don't go to school, you have to read some amazing books. But this time, you're going to be reading for pleasure. The Old Boat by Jared Pumphrey and Jerome Pumphrey. And here, of a small island, an old boat rode the tide. First shallow, then deep, then deeper. The old boat caught wants and wishes waves and wonders but the old boat rolled farther and farther Far from home, the old boat was cold and lonely and lost. Here's the boat and here's the man that was driving the boat. On a small island, a new sailor turned the tide. First shallow, then deep, then deeper, and look at the boat here, and that's it, very nice story about the old boat. I have another book, it's called Unicorn Day, this is by Diana Murray. Which, by the way, I love her books. Hooray, hooray! It's Unicorn Day. All unicorns this way. When unicorns come out to play, they have three rules. They must obey. Unicorn Day rules. Rule number one, show off your horn. Be proud to be a unicorn. Rule number two, Fluff up the hair, make sure it's groomed, and style with flair. Rule number three, have fun, fun, fun. This rule's the most important one. In the woods where tall trees sway, they sing the song of Unicorn Day. Sunshine, flowers, fairy wings, nay, 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 dance and play. Today is the day for joyful things. Happy, happy Unicorn Day. They kick their hoods, they jump and cheer, and sparkly butterflies flutter near. They slide on rainbows in the air and love to braid each other's hair. They, they point their horns up as they fly and cut cage rain drown from the sky. Then after they have a had a bye, it's time to have a glitter fight. Oop, up, that's not a unicorn. 
That's a horse. Uh oh, guys. A horse came into the unicorn party. How is that possible? He turns around to leave. Of course, his horn not real. It's just pretend. But they don't want to lose a friend. They tie the horn back on his head and give the horse a hug instead. Then it's back to... Fun, fun, fun. That's rules, the most important one. They match together, tall and proud, and soon proud to be a unicorn. Have you hugged a unicorn today? Free hugs. Yay for Unicorn Day! Some more friends join the crowd. Today is the day for joyful things. You are a star. Clip, clip, clap. They trot along as everybody sings the song. Sing along. Cupcake sprinkles, cherry tarts, starlight twinkles, glowing hearts, sunshine flowers, fairy wings. Today is a day for joyful things. Nay, 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 dance and play. Happy, happy Unicorn Day. Oh, they are so happy. I want to be invited to Unicorn Day. What about you guys? I have one more book. And also today I have some nice books recommendation for you. The next book is called The Tree in Me by Corina Lukian. And by the way, I love the color. This is a very nice summer reading book. The Tree in Me. The Tree in Me is part apple. Par orange pear, almond plum, par yum, par shade, and par sun. The tree in me is seed and blossom, bark and stump, branch and trunk. And crown. It is bird squirrel worm and bee. And because there is a tree in me, there is wind and rain and dirt and a river with fish. And a sky too. The tree in me is strong. It bends. And has roots that go deep. Down to where other roots reach up toward their own trunk branch crown. And sky too. Because there is a tree and a sky and sun in me. I can see that there is also a tree in you. The end. Wow. I just gotta tell you, I love this book. Not only because of the color, but because of the story. There is a tree in all of us, especially during the spring and summertime when we are allowed to go to the park and enjoy all these amazing flowers and everything, right? I love it. This is a really nice book. I totally recommend it. I have some books recommendation for you. This is called I'm Not Scared, You Are Scared by Sad Meyer. And we know the story about these two, right? And this is about a young bear and his friend. And let me just tell you, the bear has one rabbit. And this rabbit, he's very brave. But bear is always scared of different things. But because his friend rabbit is so brave, then he knows that he is safe. That's why he said, I'm not scared, you are. So this is a great book where you're going to be able to be um, reading a story where it's a lot of adventure, bravery, uh, rescuing, a lot of things that you can 
learn. Another book recommendation is called Cinco de Mayo. Because you know, the May, May 5th is coming. Cinco de Mayo. This is by Emma Carlson burning and Cinco de Mayo is just the 5th of May and this is where they honor like an important battle within the Mexican community the Mexican army I think this was dated by 1862 and they fought different countries they fought France and other countries even the U.S. because they wanted to take their land so if you want to learn more about Cinco de Mayo I totally recommend you to read this book another Cinco de Mayo book is this one Cinco de Mayo book by Linda uh, Lowry and this book actually introduced the story behind the celebration of Cinco de Mayo and why they celebrate the holidays and everything so if you want to learn more about Cinco de Mayo I totally recommend this book for you now how old are you are you 11 are you 12 this book once upon another time it's a very very funny story because here we have this little girl that she's like five feet and a half and everyone thinks that she's a normal 12 year old girl but guess what guys she's a giant so she's hiding that from people and they don't know because she's afraid and she's going to get in trouble because of that so if you want to know more about this story i totally recommend for you to read it once upon a time And another book that I want to recommend is this one, Starfish. Oh my goodness. This girl, she's just tired. She's tired about people bullying her because she's a little bit overweight. She's tired of being called fat and they shame her for that. And that should not happen. And she decides to do something about it. So this is a really great book to read because if you're going through bullying, if people are telling you things that make you feel hurtful, that, that hurt your feelings, you have to read this book. Because in this book, you're going to learn that nobody should call your names. Nobody should be bullying you or tell you things that make you uh, feel sad. So I hope that you enjoyed the bedtime story for tonight. Please don't forget to subscribe and I see you in next time. Bye.